today a moment in time where none other than the legendary King Arthur comes to visit Atlantia. Yeah! Yes! So, my lords and ladies, as you may have noticed, there is a theme to our show today. The theme is couples. <laughs> I'm sure you all have understood over time what this sound means. If you haven't, I encourage you to look it up. <laughs> now then, we have here the lead coconut. And we have a few of our actors who also have coconuts. Patsy here. Come, darling. Patsy here is one of our... Oh, bring the coconuts. <laughs> Patsy here is going to be our lead coconut in the show. I am going to train you in the ways of the coconut. When you see the coconuts happening, I encourage you to do so yourself using your own hands, which God gave you. Give it a little cup and then... Well done. Excellent. Excellent. So, when Patsy comes onto the stage, I want all of you to join her in the sound effects of the coconuts. We're gonna practice for just a moment, okay? Now just pretend for a moment that I am King Arthur. <laughs> Yes, I said improvised. It does not have a script. We have the thing. 
thinnest of outlines, and every one of the lines that these people speak hey, is new, and they bring it from their brains into the stage for your enjoyment. So I tell you now, this is a recreation of a period art done with a modern taste involved, and I bring you the story in Commedia style of the legends of King Arthur. For, for I, I am Pantalone, and I have the honor, the honor of hosting King Arthur when he comes to visit. Oh, I must summon my household, household. Oh, oh, Capitano, Isabella, Franceschina, Benedetta, come, come, come. I have wonderful news. Yes, yeah, so I'll get that, them all get here. Yes, yes. Oh, wonderful news. I have the honor, we have the honor, that King Arthur is going to come and visit with us. Yes, yes. King Arthur, you know, King of England, King of the Britons. North. But but he would be here. He should be here any minute, so be prepared. Wonderful for you to come and bless us with your presence. Yes, yes. My Thank you. Pantalone, it is wonderful for you to extend your hospitality to me. Thank you. A humble old retired man as I am. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, oh. May we rise, Your, your Majesty? Break your back. Oh, 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 So, so, you have traveled far, but tell me, I know. I've heard wonderful tales about your round table and your knights. Can you, can you uh, tell us some of those tales? Oh, yes, I can recount plenty and many. Who shall I start with but perhaps the most noblest of my knights, Sir Lancelot? Ah, Lancelot is so memorable. Yes, Lancelot. What makes what can him I so think? special? Lancelot, ah, yes. There is one story I shall recall where he was so noble and so romantic and so chivalrous that he undertook in the lists to appear before us unknown. We did not know his identity at all whatsoever. So, in such a way that the queen Guinevere sent him a note, and as he appeared in the lists, he was required never to win any challenge until told so. Oh, 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 I want to be Guinevere. She's pretty and lovely. And she is she's beautiful. beautiful. And if Lancelot oh, is I want to be Guinevere. Can I please, 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 please? Excellent I want to choice. Be Guinevere. You know my story, so I, I allow you to demonstrate then to if, me. Then if she oh, may be Guinevere, yeah. then I must also demonstrate to Lancelot, for he comes down, who is the bravest, the most courageous, the most pure, the most viral in all of the kingdom. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you you must have a challenger, so so uh, I'll be the challenger. Oh, the cha challenger for me? Yes, for me. Yes, a challenger for, for you. Okay. It's a, yeah. Okay. So, so, so what shall we challenge? We are that. not to hit him. So, but he's he's old man. Oh, I tell you, it is I prove your love for me. I do not know. I do not prove it. Oh, 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 are we going to do that, are we? Oh, oh, are we going oh, to oh, 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 right? You did not tell me I could not poke him, right? Oh, 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 Oh! <laughs>
Think of another story, another grand story, one of my other greatest knights of the round table. Yes, yes. How shall I begin? Ah, the, a tale with oh, Sir Gawain. Excellent choice. Sir Gawain, noble and loyal and romantic. And of okay, course. It like a job. Okay, oh, stop, yes, no? and chivalrous. Yes, yes. Chivalrous, yes. I oh. think it's a bit, yes. Excellent. So, that's right. You know the story about the Green Knight. He came to our court. Why is he green? We had peace among us. And then this angry man, the Green Knight, comes to our court to challenge each and every one of my knights until someone stood up to him. The challenge was. <laughs> I am the Green Knight, and I You're challenge you. You are looking a little blue for a Green Knight. Ah, oh, it's all in the color. Hey, 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 well, yeah, you, you must be colorblind. Yes, okay, okay, so what is the challenge? So the challenge is that you may strike me one blow. I like this game a lot better. And then, in a year's time, you must come to my castle so I can strike you. One blow. One, just one. Just one. Just one. What one is all of the cake, really? Well, um, okay, so I strike you one more. Okay, yes. Okay, so I slap you. Yes. No, 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 no. You can use the axe. Oh, I shall use my axe. Axe, yes. <laughs> this, this shall be my axe. After all. Okay. Oh. Yes, okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you certain? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Oh, no. strike a blow on you. But my lord, you are dead. You have no head. I am I'm only mostly dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How hard could it be, right? Okay. All right. Off with you. So one year passed, and my brave and loyal knight of the round table, Sir Gawain, thinking upon this, ventured into the forest to look for the castle no, of the green Introduce you to my wife. Oh. This is my 
my wife. This is getting very good. You, I have heard <laughs> great. <laughs> I've heard great things yeah, about you. I am a great you. man. And your prowess. Prowess, yes. And your purity. Purity, yes. So, oh, you said purity. You will. You said purity. I said purity. purity. Mind your purity, <laughs> Gawain, while you're out. This is something you think about. Uh, so you will stay in my house with my wife okay. for three days. Okay. And I shall return. Capitano can stay in your house with your wife for three days. So, wife, tempt him well. <laughs> okay, then <laughs> play. <laughs> Three days I must stay with you. Yes. Oh, Explain yes. to me a word. I am unfamiliar with Pure. I, I don't know. Um, you have not heard of this word? We cannot define it. We cannot I, I have heard it bannered about, but okay. nobody's really explained it. I'm just a girl. They don't explain these things to me. Oh. I, I have other other things that they're required of me, but not not. Look around the castle? Oh, well, we could look around the castle. Yeah. We could look we around could do the castle for three days. Well, could you show me around the castle? Well, I can show you the dining room. It's got a lovely long marquee table. Yes. And we have a lovely ballroom for dancing. Yes. Oh, oh. 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 yeah. That's yeah. in this And then there's the staircase. That's Whoa. the gallery. Very so long. I shall give you another chance. Yes, Gawain was out and about, and he befriended the king of the jungle. How is it possible, you may ask? But I, I, I think I'm having a problem with the story on that. Let's see, this first story, uh, I, I, I got it done. The second story, I, I did some beating up, but you know, I got the thing here on my neck. It hurts, you see? Look at that. Yes, yes, okay. Now, a Leon. Yes, a Leon. Hey, That's right, because they are the king of the beasts. The king of the beasts. They are ferocious. They are ferocious. They are nasty. Nasty. They bite. They bite. They're hungry. They are ravenous. They are ravenous. Oh, I'm ravenous. I'm ravenous. Ooh. Oh, well, you could be the ravenous one. 
ravenous, ravenous. This is fine. This is fine. I think you know, come on up here. You be the ravenous Leo. Oh, okay. Oh. That's not the way that you. Yeah. was in great pain, and oh, Sir Gawain was so in great pain. peril, so until he discovered, until he discovered a thorn in his paw. Yes, okay. Oh, George, so you're in pain, little lion, George, okay, so, so, you're in pain, 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 so, some fight. The lion popped out. remembering a story of 
famous story where these women of the court were not behaving themselves and warring with each other with their words and their uh, banter and their challenge was so obnoxious that it had to be said by knights in the tilts. I was in the market this morning and I ran into my cousin Flaminia and you won't believe what she told me. She told me that she was going to steal my boyfriend, Capitano and Arasio. Well, they're my boyfriend. You but know. she's your cousin! Well, Flaminia has been trying to steal my boyfriend for her whole life. She's got big feet. But and she's smelling up your feet. She's got big feet. She's got big feet. She's got big feet. She's got big feet. I hate you. She wish she could steal me and not yours anyway. You just need to shut up. Don't answer me. You think you're just so jealous. So jealous. I chose the noblest and excellent challengers of my court. To fight this battle and settle it for all time. So, so I guess we are the challengers. Yes, we are. Okay. So let's start. Let us start. Let us start properly, my lord. the chivalry of Camelot, the laws, the rules of chivalry and romance. Do you? You do. Do you? No, you don't. Is there anybody in this forsaken place who has lost the, the thoughts and the ways and the life of Camelot? Is there anyone here who can help me find knights like those of the round table to restore the romance and the chivalry and the loyalty of the realm of Camelot. Anywhere? Your Majesty! Atlantia! I come to tell you of the noble people of our realm. Atlantia is a fair place, much like your own Camelot. The people are honest, they're industrious, they're beautiful. Their morals are impeccable. <laughs> They're pure of heart. And it almost never rains during the day here. <laughs> <laughs> well, second thought, let's not go to Camelot. Let's go to Atlantia. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs>